Hey guys, it's the Longhorn Engineer. I'm going to bring you a little simple mod um, in real time. This is a SD card reader that came out of a Dell desktop. And like all Dell things, it uses proprietary connections. It has a 10 pin connector for USB. Well, most motherboards don't have 10 pin connectors. So I dug out a, well, part of a 8 pin connector for USB and uh, got this out of an old desktop uh, case. So basically I'm going to take this end and solder it to inside of here. Now this thing's not even screwed together, it's kind of just popped together. And as you can see, right here, this is where the connector plugs in and then it goes to the main board. So what I'm going to do is take this part out, unsolder these, and solder this board, or this cable, onto that. So let's get started. Need a screwdriver. Oh, that's too big. Got a little smaller one. And I think it's really screwed in there. Yeah, it doesn't have a nut on the back. Let's try a little enforcement. There we go. And that little bugger was tough. And that guy's out. Now to get the front ones in. Or out. I right, got it. And last one, I think. Yep. So that frees the PCB from the case. Pretty simple. So you look over here, it looks like these are uh, surface mounted. So it should be very easy to desolder. Basically I'm just going to put my soldering iron on each pad and just pull the wire off. But before that, let's take a look at the cable that we've been putting on. So I'm going to take my desoldering, oh my uh, strip stripper tool, kind of knead around the edge, pull off the the outer casing. So it's got some shielding around it. You want to keep this shielding. You kind of want to pull that off to the side like that and twist it all together to make a shield wire, basically. you're going to end up using later. So it's now got this foil around it. You're going to kind of peel off the foil. You can go ahead and just cut that off. You won't be needing it. So we have a black, red, white, green, and a shield. If we look over here on ours, we have a red, blue, yellow, black, white, green, and a clear wire. Clear wire is usually shield. Um, since this uses two USBs, uh, ports probably to increase its speed, but we're only going to use one. So basically we're going to just replace uh, the wires. So green will go to green, white to white, red to red, black to black, shield to shield. So, take the trusty soldering iron. Take the shield off, and we'll go ahead and uh, solder this on, so we don't forget the pattern. It's very bad to desolder the whole cable and not know where the wires go. Oh. 
trim that end. I'm going to add a little more solder to the board. And just solder those together. There you go. For convenience, I'm just going to cut this uh, trailing edge off. Gets in the way. So, next one's green. Take the green wire. Stripper tool. Take about, oh, oh, an eighth of an inch off. Tin that. Go back to the PCB. Heat up that one. Remove it. Pay close attention not to bridge any of the connections while you're doing this. Solder that on. See, next one's white, so we'll take the white one off. Go to the white cable on the uh, you know, USB, that new USB. Do the same thing. Take about an eighth inch off. Repeat the tinning. Go back to the board. Solder it in place. The great thing about USB interface is that uh, it's been around for so long, most manufacturers use the same color code. The wires. So, if we're lucky, this manufacturer has also used the same color code. Black wires next. But knowing that this is a Dell part, uh, that might not be true. <laughs> Taking a little bit of gamble. I guess I could probably do some additional testing, but, you know, this part was free. Just rolling with it. So, we're not going to use the yellow or blue. Reattach this by just screwing it in. Pass the wire out the back hole. And it's time to see if this actually will work. So, I have the cable here. And I'm just going to plug it in the motherboard header I would suggest not doing this while the computer is on but for sake of uh, demonstration you know let's do it so I'm just gonna plug it into the USB header make sure your polarity is right plug it in and let's see if it recognizes it so we'll go to my computer and as you all can see, we have one, two, three, four removable disk drives. And this is a four card reader. So it worked. Later, guys.